Anyone serious about good quality camera work must understand the importance of the tripod. Almost all types of video work require a tripod at some stage and you need to know how to use one. Knowing the right way to use a tripod can make your photography and videography more professional. It will help you to pay more attention when setting up your composition and give you the stability needed for Chris's beautiful shots. Select a tripod that is compatible with your camera and you're all set to shoot some great videos and photos. When checking out your tripod, make sure that it's not damaged or missing any parts, such as the camera plate. Before you start setting up your tripod, it's best to know where you want to shoot your video. Choose a background that will work for your shot and decide on the direction you will want to shoot your video. When shooting interviews, it's best to choose a background that best matches the story. The first step in setting up a tripod is to arrange the legs. Point one of the legs in the same direction that your camera will face. Doing so will create a space between you and the other two legs for you to stand. This will make it easier and more comfortable for you to work while focusing and shooting. Next, you'll extend the legs of the tripod to the desired height for the shot. Open the latches that release the tensions on the legs and extend the sections to the desired height. Start by extending the thickest sections first as they will provide more stable support than the thinner segments. You will need to be sure the legs are secure. If you're on the uneven surface, you'll have to readjust the legs until you get to the length just right when on soft ground or sand, push the tripod legs all the way down until it is pressed against something solid. You do not want your tripod to be tipping over and damaging your camera. To give the tripod some extra support, you can add some weight to on the center by hanging your camera back. If you're working in high winds, you can anchor the tripod by placing sandbags or weights against the legs to hold it down. Adjust the pan tilt handle to the preferred angle. The handle is typically operated at the right hand while the left hand operates the camera functions. Experiment with different angles to find which one is most suited for you. Next, check the level on the tripod. Most models come with the level built on the top of the tripod. Below the head, there is a screw that loosens the head so you can adjust the level. If the head has a spirit level, you can use it as a guide. Remember, it's what's in the viewfinder that counts. Some shots may need to be shot at a slight angle in order to appear level. On the other hand, some shots can be made more appealing by purposely adding the tilt. After you have your tripod set up and in place, you'll need to attach the camera. First, check that your camera has a tripod mount. Most modern cameras are tripod capable, but the smaller cameras are not. The tripod mount is a small hole with the screw threads located on the bottom of the camera. It is usually about one fourth inch in diameter. If your camera isn't tripod compatible, you will be unable to mount, mount it to the tripod. Remove the camera plate from the tripod. The camera plate is a piece that fixes the camera to the tripod. Look for the quick release clip or lever that will unlock the camera plate from the main body of the tripod. There are many ways to connect the camera to the main body of your tripod. However, almost all tripods use a detachable camera plate to make sure it is easier to mount your device. To screw the camera onto the tripod camera plate, you'll need to tighten the screws to hold the camera steady. Look for the threaded hole called the tripod mount in the bottom of the camera. Tighten the screw head from the bottom of the plate with a screwdriver to the camera until they are snugly joined. The connection should be snug, but not over tight. Too tight screws can put stress on the mounting system, which could in turn damage your camera or tripod. 
Remount the camera plate to the tripod. If you remove the camera plate for an easier attach job, make sure to reattach it so that you can use the tripod. Push the quick release button or pull back the lever and fit the mounted plate onto the tripod head and release the lever. Make sure that your camera is safely attached to the tripod and is locked in place. Adjust the camera angles as needed. You may need to loosen a knob just below the camera base plate to adjust the camera angle. Once you settle on the desired angle, be sure to tighten the knob and secure the camera in place. Adjust the pan and tilt tensions to the desired level that you want for shooting. Experiment with different settings. In general, use lighter tension for close and fast moving subjects. Use heavier tension for slow moves and longer zooms, or if you're ha having difficulty keeping the shot steady. There should also be pan and tilt locks to prevent the camera from moving at all. Use these whenever you're not operating the camera. When you are ready to start filming, you should be able to swivel the camera on the tripod for pan shots, but you can always move the rig to a more convenient spot. Before you take any photos or shoot videos, look through the viewfinder to check your framing and make further height balance adjustments as needed. Make sure the tripod legs are positioned so that you'll be able to stand comfortably and move around as much as you need to. It takes practice to be able to set up a camera quickly. Once you've done it the first time and you're happy with your setup, take note of the tripod height and other settings. Next time, remember these things before you begin and it will happen faster. When you're finished filming, be sure to remove the camera plate from the camera and place it back on the tripod. Do not misplace the camera plate because the tripod is useless without it. Open the latches that release the tensioners on the legs and reduce the sections to the smallest height. Clip the latch on the bottom of the legs and place it in the tripod bag. Follow these guidelines I have mentioned and you will not have any problems with using tripods for your video projects. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.